Alright, so I guess there's no audio to the... For people speaking, but this is our next playthrough here. It's uh, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. I don't really know anything about the game. It was on sale. I thought uh, it would be good to try it out. Um, this was the game I was trying to work before XCOM. I tried to purchase some uh, CD keys from uh, Kingwin, which is a third-party real uh, CD key seller, and the CD keys I bought uh, didn't work, so I had to buy the game from another source, and nobody at the website would be able to respond to any of my uh, emails, so I ended up just losing out on the money, so that's pretty frustrating. Definitely would not recommend the King Win. Uh, website or utilize them again so definitely buyer beware on that but enough of that let's move on to this game and see what it's in store for us so chaos space marine you have trespassed on kanak dog of russ now die for desecrating the word bears territory come then traitor many have tried to slay me and i shall add you to the tally so movement, you need to move closer to the enemy to make a shot, select the highlighted card and move your character. You can almost, you can use almost any card in the game to move your character. Okay. Click the move button to move your character. Okay. Select direction will affect the direction of your attack, so we want to go that way. Action points. This is the action points counter. Usually you will start each turn with two action points. You spend one action point each time you play a card. It's a good chance to attack this Chaos Space Marine. Select your bolt gun card. Click on the use, I guess that's this, and click an enemy unit to target your attack. Let's try some more advanced tactics. All of your cards have a number in the top right corner. These are effort points. Every time you play a card, you receive effort points. The more effort points you have at the end of your turn, the later your next turn will occur. Okay. Now let's try to get some tactical advantage from it. You can see that now your character has zero effort points, the number next to the clock icon. If we imagine this turn with less effort points than your enemies, we will get our next turn before them. Choose this card to attack your enemy. Now our character has some effort points, but our enemy Enemies have more, take a look. Yeah, he's got 17. So if we finish our turn now, we'll basically get an extra turn. Oh, that's interesting. See, it's your turn again. Try to use this to your advantage and your battles will become much easier. Now go and defeat your enemies. So do I want to... Can I just keep doing that? Oh, I see. So I can't just keep using the...
Alright, so I guess we'll move. Attack. And attack. Volgard. This place is swarming with chaos scum, and there, there's one who reeks particularly strongly of filth. If you wish to quench your thirst for vengeance, you are going to have to hurry. We'll be waiting for you right behind the crusader, uh, cruiser's wreckage. Don't you dare go and take out all those traitors without me, or by Russ, I'll lose it. Valgard, my Auspex is registering an equipment container not far from you. Search it. It should have all we need to help our brethren. Okay. So I guess I have to end the turn. Because I can't move. Let's ready ourselves to fight for uh, against our enemies. Gunner has some cards you've not seen yet. Shield, for example, gives him defense points. While character has defense, any damage dealt to him is reduced by half. But he loses one defense point each time he's attacked. Let's give Gunnar some defense. Click the Storm Shield card. You can now see he has two defense points. A character can have a maximum of three defense points. We have one more action point left. Let's equip Gunnar with a weapon. Use the equip card instead of being used instantly. These cards need to be equipped before you can use them. You have now equipped the character with a weapon. Equip cards are not discarded after being used. Instead, their ammunition is decreased by one. Oh, I see, so I can move twice. Overwatch. Once per turn, if an enemy moves and then stops in your attack zone, you'll automatically attack him at no effort cost. One more thing to mention before you crush the enemy chain effect. Some cards have a chain icon. I don't see the chain icon. These cards have a bonus when triggered by certain actions. For example, this card gives your attack an additional hit chance if you attack a target with a ranged weapon. Where are you seeing this? Let's attack an enemy with your equipped bolt gun. Chain aim shot. This is a chain effect. You've attacked an enemy with your ranged weapon, so a chain effect card has automatically been played and now adds a bonus hit chance to your attacks. Chain effect cards are played at no effort. When the condition is met, having these cards in your deck can help a lot in your battles. So how does it work if I... Uh Reload.
use your jump pack. Okay. Oh, I see. They just gave me one. I'm like, I don't think I had a jump pack. How could another of the Emperor's pups have survived our attack? I have made short work of plenty of your brothers, and I'm curious to see whether you'll be able to put up a worthy fight before your impending death. Don't disappoint me, Grey Hunter. Grr, false scum. Whoever you are, I'll rip your throat out. No matter what it costs me, you'll pay dearly for each of my fallen brethren. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably fine. Oh no, it's not okay. Equip. All right, well, let's try to attack. Attack again. I don't think there's a cover or anything in this game. give me an extra turn. Oh wait, let's do this. Almost dropped them. It's kind of weird, this, like, I can't get angles. I kind of want to see what the, uh, what this does. So it did 200 damage. Mission complete. Collect golden skulls to level up. You receive golden skulls for completing objectives and story missions. You received a card. Alright. All right, I guess that was the tutorial. I don't know what this is all about. Collection, your decks. One for each type of armor, scout armor, power armor, terminator armor. Your cards click to add. 
a card to the deck. Okay. Let's take a look at help. Okay, so we can fast track card usage by using these. We can mess with the camera. We can discard a card. We can confirm actions with the space bar or enter. Okay. Effort. Defense. We just kind of went through that. Those are effort points. You can use almost any card for movement. Choose the card and click move. You can reload an equipped weapon with any other weapon having the same ammo. Overwatch once per turn. Yep, we saw that. Chain effects, we saw that. Evolve combines two identical low level cards to make a new card, a higher level variation of these cards. Disassemble destroys a card, giving you some weapon parts which can be used to forge and craft new cards. Okay. Stories. A map mission's available to you. Click the mission. List the stories. Alright. Well, I think we just need to start with a campaign. Saga chapters. You will unlock new chapters as you advance in the story. Space Wolf. A map with the missions available to you. Click the mission icon and learn more about it. Main story missions are marked with skulls. You receive golden skulls for completing the main story missions and the challenges inside them. So did I not just do this one? Oh, I see. This is the chapter, maybe, and these are the missions. So, primary objective. Scout the area, kill enemies, recover a forge crate. Alright, well, let's try it out. And it looks like we can use just this guy. The game will defy your skills but reward you with the joy of battle against worthy appointments like the mode to play the game just as we mean it the reward for objectives is the same for all difficulty levels well I guess you know we like to play the hardest difficulty settings so that means we're going to grizzled veteran Need to cleanse the area of traitors and locate surviving pack brothers. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to be able to reach, right? Yeah. So let's end turn. And that gives us a second turn. Now we got two guys up here. Destroys armor. Affects all targets. That's like a breath. Two handed weapon. All right. Restores. Okay, I see what's going on here. So let's move. And we're going to need one, two, three, four. So if I move you here, go here. And let's.
Let's shoot. Oh, it's a heavy bolter. I see what's going on here. I could flame. We chain it. And then. We just use the plasma gun because he's going to get a turn on us no matter what. rage do well let's do that and equip and now let's start shooting these guys and let's just shoot one more time Let's just go ahead and draw two cards. And then we'll move. Brethren, this is Valgard, twice slain speaking. If you can still stand on your feet and your arms are still strong enough to strike at the Allfather's foes, now is the time to respond. This is Harald. I have sworn to die for Russ and the Allfather, but I'll be damned if I don't take a hundred or two traitors down with me. My hammer is at your command, Falgard. I'm not even sure how to say that. Yngvar? Yngvar? Speaking, uh... Glad to hear the voices of my friends. My rifle has long been waiting for its prey, and my dagger is ready to feast on the enemy blood. Move out to Rendezvous Point. All this time I've had faith the enemy wouldn't be able to get rid of us that easily. Let's rendezvous at the old comms post. The traitors have no doubt intercepted our signal, so be prepared to carve out a path over their dead bodies. Alright. So I'm coming up here. I'm guessing that's the chest I'm supposed to get. There's where my other guy is. I have no idea where the scout is, though. Target discards two cards plus. So he does additional damage, ignores armor, draw two cards. Well, let's equip that. And let's go ahead and give you the shield. Alright, so here you are. give you the sniper rifle. Now you can't see anybody.
let's take a look at this. So if I do that, so maybe if I move you like here, turn you, use my sniper rifle, yep. Let's get you moving up here. Oh, more guys. Well, let's keep moving you. drop him. Nice. Reload. And... Shoot, because you should be able to kill him. Yep. reload this and let's shoot him and let's shoot hope you can't reach him so move a character Go this way. Actually, if I end turn, that should be able to let him go again. This is one of our crates from our ship's Chapter Forge, you can find a mastercrafted weapon there. That sounds good. So I guess that's how much damage it does with a 74% chance to hit. So this one has a higher chance to hit. It goes through defense, or through, yeah, defense a little bit better. Oh, damn. 
You just keep coming. Might be in trouble here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to reach. Ooh, he's got a lot of health there. Keep trying, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I see uh, I assume a shotgun would be pretty good. Ew, it sucks. Can't reach it.
Okay, so it says we all have to reach the point. So does that mean that it won't end the turn? If they all die. This guy's going to die at this rate. Yikes, you're almost dead too. Ooh, nice. Oh, of course you can't freaking... Get him. Nope, he's still coming after you. Huh, maybe that uh, won't end the mission then. Good. You have recovered one of the crates, but you still need to complete the mission before you're able to use a weapon you found.
Oh, you're fine. Brethren, I'm glad you've made it here alive. Tell me what happened to your squads. My squad took the landing badly and ended up in another trap. Everyone perished except for me. The traitors were just too many. I'm in a similar situation. The only difference being the landing itself was the fateful uh, moment for my squad. I suffered several serious injuries, but was able to get out of the wreckage before the ammo containers exploded. I see. The enemy likely planned the attack in advance. I swear we will rip the throat out of every chaos bastard for our fallen brethren, transmitting rally point coordinates. I'm moving out to join you, damn it. My scanner is showing the enemy landings landing capsules in your sectors. Hold your positions until I arrive and try to stay out of the enemy's landing zone. Oh, I guess I, uh, should have been, uh... Should have been healing my guys, I guess. Definitely want to heal. And have you shoot into this guy. Looks like he's got a flamer. And I do not want him to do that on my guys. end your turn because that should give you another turn ahead of him and you can use your sniper rifle sure take two shots Anything can Let's do something like that, I guess. your bolter I'm halfway there Valgard Expect me soon. Uh, 
Ach. I'll go ahead and draw two cards. Hopefully we'll get you some healing. Well, I guess you're forced up to kill him. His armor. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, just end your turn. Confirm. Hold on, just a little longer. I'm almost there. Oh, you can't get him. Here we go. And have you turned that way? You still can't do it. Receive scout armor, new squad member, 30 new scout cards. New Terminator squad, okay. I am so confused.
so I think some of this is because of the pack, the DLC. I wonder if the DLC then gave me better cards than what I should be having right now. bet that's exactly what's happening. Is, uh... Alright. Well... Let's uh, call it quits here for the day. Thank you for watching. I'll move on to the next mission here uh, shortly. Sorry it's taken so long. Just working on trying to figure out my way through these missions here. Okay, so we get a skull for pretty much each objective we complete. That's how it works. So we'll get a skull for obtaining information about the enemy base, recovering a chapter forge crate, and for killing at least 15 enemies. All right, I see how this works. Well, thank you for watching. I'll continue to upload these videos. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.